what creates a workaholic and are you a workaholic? Well, workaholism is essentially work dependency. Now, what does that mean? We're all ultimately dependent on work in order to be able to pay our rent, pay our mortgage, pay for food. So that's not the kind of work dependency that workaholism refers to. What we are referring to is a dependency on work to feed our ego. Work can often give us things that feel very pleasurable, things like recognition, success, wealth, and even belonging. All of those are things that we can derive from work that make us feel good. And so the risk of workaholism is that you are chasing those things, recognition, wealth, success, belonging. And in order to feel like you are living a life well-lived, you need those things. So it's basically about the order in which those things have purpose in your lives. Are you chasing recognition, wealth, success, and belonging in order to feel like you're living a life well lived? Or is it the opposite? Now, people who just feel fulfilled at work, people who are not addicted to work, but rather love work because it fills their life, they are pursuing a life well lived. And oftentimes what comes as a result of a life well lived is recognition, wealth, success, and a sense of belonging. Because ultimately life is not about being loved and successful as much as possible. It's about being the truest expression of yourself. And living in our authentic selfhood is often the best way to be of service to our community, to our peers, to our colleagues, to our family. So ask yourself, what is your true nature? What is the most authentic expression of yourself? And how can you live that at work?